Hey everybody, Ryan here. And sometimes there are some pretty fantastic perks that come with this job. Today I'm playing with a prototype Tiger Lake notebook in preparation for later this year. And uh, you can see I've got Battlefield 5 fired up and we are running at full 1080p resolution at the high quality preset. And as you would expect for a Battlefield game, the visuals are absolutely stunning. Frame rate is great, hovering at or above 30 frames per second here on a thin and light notebook using only integrated graphics. And this is the type of uh, performance and experience you'll be looking forward to seeing on Tiger Lake later this year. So this is a pretty amazing thing that we're seeing here, I think. In my opinion, uh, I don't care what the, the watts are for this thing what the clock speeds are, none of that matters. What matters right here is that we're seeing just unheard of performance from an Intel uh, thin and light notebook with integrated graphics. It's pretty obvious right here that Tiger Lake and the new Intel XE graphics are going to be a contender because I put this to the test with this uh, pretty cheap, very cheap HP laptop that I recently bought that has an ice lake in it, uh, i5 with G7 graphics. So, you know, Iris Plus Pro whatever in it. And uh, I did some uh, frame rate analysis and uh, I'm going to show you how that fared compared to this. You're seeing 30 there. You're seeing how smooth that looks. Well, get prepared to see just crap. So here is the Ice Lake with integrated graphics uh, running Battlefield 5. I got the same uh, map a little further along in it. Uh, that's my own fault because reasons. But uh, yeah. Uh, using the NVIDIA FCAT analysis reviewers guideline thing. I captured uh, the laptop, lossless video, and I put it through a program which will spit out these uh, frame rate graphs that you're seeing here. It'll analyze things by calculating differences between the frames. I also had the overlay on the side, uh, which I blacked out with that black bar because that will screw compression on YouTube. But yeah, this is uh, 1080p high, same exact settings uh, shown in uh, the Tiger Lake laptop, and this is this is a goddamn mess. This is a mess. You you can't play this on here. I mean, you can't play this on this laptop because uh, 1366 by 768 is the panel resolution. But you know, I plugged it into a capture card into a monitor. Uh, so you shouldn't play at this resolution on this laptop, but you can see the frame time is just all over the place, even though the frame rates showing, you know, less than 10 pretty much the whole time. It's, it's chugging along. It's trying, it's struggling to load textures at the, at, at the quality they're supposed to be at. It's not smooth. I could barely aim uh, when I was trying to fight back at things. Uh, it is. It's going to be awesome to get Tiger Lake later this year. I would love to review one because that is just a giant step in the right direction to, to have integrated graphics that could be smooth while doing something like this in high quality 1080p. Because that's pretty much the minimum. That's what you should be playing at. Uh, at least resolution-wise, 1080p. You could obviously get more frames back by lowering the quality. <laughs> look, look at this guy right here. I don't know what's happening. I'm shooting him. He should be dead. He, he doesn't die. Maybe it's because my frames are so low. Maybe I'm going through his box. I don't know. But, yeah. Super excited about Tiger Lake. Super not excited about Ice Lake. That, that seems like a trial run at this, at this point. 
but yeah, I hope this, hope this was interesting seeing a frame rate analysis of this. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Look, we hit 60. Bye.